Okay, another relocation skill that we use when we don't have any linear features is slope aspect. If I said that my kitchen window has a southerly aspect, it means that it faces south. And if you use your compass, you see that is about 180 degrees. So what I can do here, if I could imagine the contour lines running around this hill, if I could take a bearing pointing straight down the slope, it would cross the contour lines at right angles. So I have to imagine a direct line straight down the slope, crossing the contour lines at right angles. And I can take a bearing on that by pointing my compass down the slope. So I point the direction of travel arrow along that line. I then turn the dial until the red end of the needle points to the end, and that's putting Red Fred in his bed or in his shed. Now you'll be tempted to point the compass down, just be aware that when you do that, the needle can catch on the roof or the floor of the capsule. But just keep levelling it up, pointing it down, levelling it up until you reckon you've got that spot on. Good? That's it. That's the bearing done and the aspect obtained. One of the good things about a slope aspect, if it tells me I'm on a southerly aspect, it does mean that I cannot be on any slope that faces north, east or west. And that's useful, it's negative information, but it cuts out a huge amount of the map and leaves me with my two or three options. OK, so having got the bearing on my compass, I'm now going to place the compass onto the map and I'm lining these lines in the capsule with the north-south grid lines here on the map. This is north at this end, so again the N needs to be to this way. All that the needle being aligned there just shows me whether my map is set or not. It's not relevant at the moment. OK, so I'm looking for contour lines which are crossed at right angles by the edge of my compass or this line here, going downhill. So those contour lines are going downhill that way, these are going downhill that way, so they don't count. It's these ones facing south, so I could be there. I've got a similar picture here, the contour lines going down there. I've got a similar picture here, contour lines heading south down there, down here as well and even all this at the back, in fact. If I was here at the back, I would be looking down onto Glenmore Lodge. Clearly I'm not. I've got a stream coming towards me which then runs away off onto the, to the right. So I couldn't be here because the stream is coming from round here. That's not happening on the ground. If I am here, it's a similar thing. The stream would be running right round. That's not happening in front of me. And likewise here. So that leaves me with this hill here. Perhaps knowing where I was last, maybe just somewhere out here, that would be the most likely. So just check again with my compass. That's right, that is the edge crossing these lines, contour lines at right angles. So I must be somewhere along that line. The river out in front of me comes towards me and then turns off and that's exactly right out there. So my conclusion is that I am somewhere on this hill here. 